In this video, I will show you how to send mail march on Outlook web version. The process I am going to show you only works with Outlook web. If you are looking to send mail march from Outlook desktop, then watch this video. Let's start. Here is the list of contacts for the mail march and I'll create the email body later. You can see here I have first name, last name, email, service, amount and due date. I added this column to show you if you want to put a CC address for the mail march emails. Since we are going to mail march from Outlook web, we need to put the contacts on the Excel online version. So for that, I'll click on this app launcher and I'll select Excel. It will open the Excel online. Now I'll create a blank workbook. All this process will work with the Outlook free version and the Office 365 paid version. You can follow the same process for both type of accounts. Here I'll copy the contacts. Here are all the contacts. I'll rename this book to contacts. If you have a column with dates in the list, make sure to format that column in text because the date format will not work with the process we are going to explore. Next, I'll select all the data here and I'll format this data as a table. After the selection, I'll click on format as table. Here, I'll select any of the style and I'll keep this my table has headers and I'll click on OK. Now this data is formatted as table. Here I will rename the table to mail march contacts. OK. Now we have the data in the table format. The name of the table is mail march contact. Next, I want to send an attachment with the mail march. If you do not need to send an attachment with the mail march, then you can skip this. For the attachment, I have to upload the file to my OneDrive. So I'll click on the apps menu again and I'll select OneDrive. Here, I will upload the file. The file is uploaded. You can see the message here. Uploaded sportsday.docs to documents. Now we will send the mail march. We have the contacts ready. We have the file ready. To send the mail march, again, I need to click on this app launcher menu and I'll select power automate. If you don't see the power automate option here, then click on this explore all your apps and you will see the power automate. You do not need to know anything about power automate. The process is very simple. Now I'll show you the process. Just follow the process with me. Here on this Power Automate page, I'll click on Create and I will select the Instant Cloud Flow because we will send the mail march manually when we need it. We do not need an automated flow. I'll select this Instant Cloud Flow and I'll select the Manually Trigger a Flow. Now I'll click on Create. So here is the Power Automate window. First, I will rename the flow to Mail March. I need to add the actions here. So I'll click on the plus icon here and I'll add an action. Here I'll search for Excel. It has two options, Excel Online Business and Excel Online OneDrive. Since I'm using the Office 365 account, I will select the Excel Online Business. If you are on the Outlook free version, then you need to select Excel Online OneDrive. I'll click on this See More link. Here I can see list all rows present in a table. Since our data is in a table, I will select this action. Here I need to sign in to my account so that Power Automate can access the data we have in the OneDrive. I have signed in into my account. Now I need to select the Excel file. So I'll click on this drop down here. I'll select OneDrive for business, for the location, for the document library. I'll select OneDrive. Now I need to locate the file with the contact. So I'll click on open folder. Here I'll scroll down to find my file and I can see the contacts.xlsx. So I'll select this. Now I need to select the table. So I'll click on this table option and it will find the table in the file. So this is the table mail march contacts. We have renamed the table to mail march contacts here. Now I will add a new action. I'll click on the plus icon and I'll click on add an action. Here I'll search for OneDrive. It has two options, OneDrive for business and OneDrive. Since my account is with Office 365, I'll select OneDrive business. So I'll click on see more and I'll select get file content. Here I need to sign into my OneDrive account again. I'll click on sign in. So I am signed in into my OneDrive account. Now I need to locate the file. So I'll click on this open folder option and under root, I'll click on this arrow and I'll scroll down to find the file. And this is the file sportsday.docx. So I'll select this file. Our file content is ready. So we have the mail march contacts ready here. We have the file content ready here. Now we need to send the email. Here I will add the last step we need. I'll click on this plus icon again and I'll add an action. 
and I'll search for Outlook. Here you see Office 365 Outlook. If you scroll down, you can see the normal Outlook. This works for the free version of Outlook accounts. I'll select the Office 365 Outlook and I'll click on this see more option. I need to select send an email v2. So this is the option and I'll click on this. Here I need to sign in to the Outlook account again. Now I will write the email. First I need to enter the receivers field in this two box. I'll click on the box and I'll select enter custom value. Here I have two options. I'll select this one, enter the data from previous step. So I'll click on this and I can see the data here. This is the list rows present in table and here is the email column. I'll select this. And for the subject, I have a format ready here. I'll copy the subject. And I want to put the service name and the due date on this subject line. This service name and the due date. So I will delete this service here and I will select this option to enter a data from previous step and I'll select the service column. And I'll delete this due date placeholder and I'll select this option again and I'll select the due date. So the subject is ready. Now I'll copy the email format and I'll put it here. You can see the email here. I want to replace the first name placeholder with the first name from the contacts list. So I'll click on this option again and I'll select first name. Here I will replace this service placeholder with the service name again and the amount with this amount column and the due date with the due date column. So you can see I can format the email text now I will scroll down and I'll click on this show all option under this advanced parameters because I want to attach the file. Here I can see under attachment add a new item. I'll click on add a new item and I need to put a name for the attachment. So I'll just put flyer or something. And when I click on the attachment content I can see the same option here. I'll click on this and I'll select the file content from this get file content step. You can see we have created this step to get the file from OneDrive. Now remember I have a column for CC. I have put the same email address for the CC but you can put different email addresses here. I want to use this CC column with the mail merge. Here you can see the CC option and the BCC option. So I'll click on this CC field. I'll select this option enter the data from previous step and I'll select the CC column here. I don't see the CC column so I'll click on see more and now I see the CC column. So the CC is ready. Everything is ready. Now I can collapse this option here. Our mail march flow is ready. Now I will save the flow. Now I'll go back. When I click on flows, I can see the mail march flow here created 26 seconds ago. So when I need to send this mail march, I can just run this process. Let's send the mail march. I'll click on this. It is checking all the connections. Everything is good. And I'll click on continue. Again, run flow. It says your flow run successfully started. To monitor it, go to the flow run page. I'll click on done. And now when I go to the send items, I can see all the emails. Here are the contacts. I have five contacts and I can see here five new emails. When I click on the emails, you see the subjects according to the service and the due date. And in the email body, you can see the mail merge fields. So this is how you can send mail merge emails from Outlook web version. Please let me know if this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.